So we now know how to calculate the proper time along a world line. And in the previous unit, we developed the metric equation, which tells us how to calculate the space-time interval in terms of delta x and delta t, the time and space differences in a particular reference frame. So we're now in a position to make some quantitative statements about the differences between the space-time interval delta s, proper time delta tau, and the coordinate time delta t. So that's what we'll do in the next two videos. In this video, I want to um, review delta t, delta s, delta tau, and um, think about, in a, maybe in a qualitative way, the relations among them. And then in the um, video after this one, we'll look at those formulas and um, come up with some quantitative statements about delta t, delta s, and delta tau. So this figure, I think, will help us think through the differences among these three types of time intervals, the coordinate time delta t, proper time interval delta tau, and the space-time interval delta s. This figure is very closely based on a, on a figure in Tom Moore's book. Um, here's the reference. It's figure uh, R3.9. And I've made a PNG and a PDF version of this in case you want to see a, a clearer version um, higher resolution version than what you're seeing on the screen right now. All right, so let's consider two arbitrary events in space-time, A and B. And there's lots of time intervals between them. So let's start here. There are many, many different proper times, delta tau. So the proper time is just the um, time measured by a clock that's present at both events. But of course, there's lots of world lines that could connect events A and B, just like there's lots of paths in space that connect points A and B in space. And so, for every world line, we'll get a different delta tau. But there's a special delta tau, a special situation, and that's when the, um, the, the clock that's present at both events is an inertial clock. It's moving at a constant velocity. It's going at just the right speed, and it's a constant speed, and, and it happens to be present at both of those events. So in that case, um, we've measured the space-time interval, delta s. That's the definition of the space-time interval. It's a time between two events as measured by an inertial, i.e. constant velocity, clock, present at both events. It's unique. There, for a, a given um, pair of events, a and b, there's one and only one space-time interval. So, um, a space-time interval is a special type of proper time, but not all proper times are space-time intervals. And I should mention, this circle is designed just to indicate, yes, there's lots of um, possible delta taus. It's not, there's not necessarily a circular geometry to this idea. It's just, yeah, there's a blob, lots of delta taus, one special delta, uh, delta s. There also are lots of coordinate times. So for a given pair of events, A and B, same physical events, if you're in a different reference frame, you'll measure a different delta t. We've seen that a couple times throughout the course. So there's lots of different reference frames moving at different speeds beta with respect to each other. And in those reference frames, you'll get a different coordinate time interval. But there's a special coordinate time interval where, the, where you have a single clock that happens to be present at both events and then you're measuring the um, space-time interval. So in that case, um, well, let's see. So let me say this. So delta S is unique proper time measured by a clock traveling at just the right velocity to be present at both events. So that's a single clock that's in an inertial reference frame. A clock in an inertial reference frame that's present at both events, um, that's a special type of coordinate time. So you have lots and lots of coordinate times but there's only one reference frame in which the coordinate time coincides with the space-time interval. And you have lots and lots of proper times, but there is only one world line, the straight line world line, in which your proper time is also a space-time interval.